This is the sun. A huge burning ball of gas in the center of our solar system. The sun releases solar radiation, which heads towards Earth. The radiation passes through the atmosphere and is primarily absorbed by the Earth's surface, warming it. Some solar radiation is reflected by the Earth back into the atmosphere. Here it encounters a carbon dioxide molecule. The CO2 absorbs the infrared radiation, causing it to vibrate. The vibrating molecule emits some energy in the form of radiation, which can then go back to Earth. Water and methane also absorb infrared radiation. All three of these greenhouse gases can be produced by factories and power stations. The more factories and power stations, the more greenhouse gases in the air. The more greenhouse gases, the more infrared radiation gets reflected back to Earth, which warms it again. This causes the greenhouse effect, more commonly known as global warming. Global warming is bad news for some animals, such as polar bears that require the sea ice over the Arctic to survive. Thankfully, there are solutions. There are alternative methods of power production, such as nuclear power, wind turbines, and solar panels. However, a more direct approach is carbon capture and storage. As its name suggests, carbon capture involves CO2 being contained rather than released into the atmosphere. The CO2 can then sometimes be used in fizzy drinks, but an alternative method is to pump it back into an oil field. As an added bonus, the CO2 can help push the remaining oil back out to be used in a power station or as fuel. In this way, oil can be used without causing the greenhouse effect.